啊！哇！She like make me like do shit that I don't normally do, like take vitamins and oh yeah, oh, drink okay. water. Are you, like, what? Are you eating? Are you eating? And that's what I get for screaming, my man, my man, my man, too loud. Next. He was really sweet in the beginning, but then I never understood why people bully people for being slow. How you mad at me? Cause I'm slow. Say you want a raw bitch on your top? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> this movie's so funny, babe. <laughs> uh, no, it's funny, but I, I, I didn't come in for the movie. Wait, I, I, I don't get it. I, I honestly didn't come in for the movie. But the whole point of a cinema is to watch but a no, movie, I, so... I, I mean, I don't want to watch it. Cause, wait, you know, wait. Now I think of it, babe. Why am I in the corner of the? Look wait, at the whole wait, cinema. Wait, wait, look at the whole put, cinema. Put, 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 look at the whole I, cinema. I, I, I understand. So why am put I in the corner? Down. Put your popcorn down, please. Okay. Thank you. Like, let's just do it right now. Do you want right now, babe? You know what? Like, do, do you get it? Like, you know what? No, I'm not one of these other girls. You, you can't bring me to the cinema to do. I don't. What? I don't bring any other girls to the cinema. You don't respect only one. me. No, you're the only one. Respect me. No, you're the only one. So why are you putting me in the corner of the cinema? You get. I want to. Why are we in the back row? I want to feel you. No, no, what you're you really mean? giving me no. the egg right now. No. What? You're making noise. No. It's in this way. No. Where are you going? Yo, listen to this, yeah? Now, obviously, this might be the reason I don't have a girlfriend in it, but I'm just saying. If I'm chatting to a bird, yeah? She's out having a drink and that with me, it's gone out clubbing. She doesn't phone my phone once drunk, or do not text me drunk. I'm never talking to her again. And I've done this couple of times. You get me? It's, it's, it's got to run. Because if she's interested in your... Or wants your or whatever. When she's drunk, that's the fucking prime time. She's going to want your, do you know what I mean? So if she don't, she's with someone else fucking about. Or she's not that like, into you, you know what I'm saying? So fuck it off. Shit. 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 Okay. 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 What the fuck? I'm playing. Okay. Okay. You know how there are some people that are like, oh, you were cheated on? Well, there must have been a reason. People don't cheat because their partners aren't good enough or attractive enough or not making them happy. People cheat because they're cheaters. So please laugh through my trauma with me as I show you the text my ex sent me the week he was cheating on me. So I just so happened to be out of town this week. Classic, right? So obviously what I didn't know then was that he was on dating apps and also seeing another woman. All right, starting off slow here. I'm really sad. I've been a good boy and wanna be with you. So why sad? Then just saying I was sad because I miss his children. And he said, I am so effing scared of losing you. Were you though? All jokes aside, I hope you have my baby one day. I'd be incredibly lucky if you had my child and it's something I want with you one day. We had already had the baby talk before, but it's pretty peculiar that he was really bringing it up this week. Also, I'm sorry, okay? I had baby fever. Like, 
How could I not? The way he was talking. You said that if we had a baby, you'd want to be with a baby for the first year or two at least. At that moment, I knew you were the woman I always wanted. Like if you were pregnant, I'd treat you like an actual queen. Just wait until after ski season. Also, if you're new here and you don't know who my ex is, he is uh, abusive. So uh, this is actually kind of disturbing. The idea of getting you pregnant and you being pregnant with our baby is such a dream. So he's like, I'm ready when you are. I want to make you and our babies happy. Did I mention he was cheating on me this entire time? So also he's a narcissist and uh, you know, I'm doing everything I can to improve myself and to include taking my meds right and taking my talk therapy seriously. He is telling me these things and cheating on me at the same time. And I just cannot comprehend how a human being can do that. Now, I did not suspect he was cheating on me, but let me tell you, women always know. We always know. Even if we don't think, we know. You'll be able to wait. I can't, but I will. So he's moved on from baby talk and now he's saving up for my engagement ring. So baby, I'm committed. I choose you. Do you think we could have a happy life, just the two of us and with the babies? And our baby. Yes, I do. I've never felt like this for anyone. He's getting a lot of gas. How are you driving so much in three days? So like I said, people cheat because they're cheaters. It's a reflection on them, not you. I just got out of a really long-term relationship and I started dating again and I like didn't know how to date a guy for like two or three days like I only ever dated this guy for a really long time so something you do in a relationship when you get to a certain point is you like baby talk all the time so I'm dating this guy for like three days and you know what I say because I say this stupid cringe thing like why did I say this even when I was dating my mom like let me see your PB. <laughs> that's not the cringe part that's not the fucking cringe part that's the beginning of the story <laughs> So I say that to this man and he just like shuts off like there's literally no reaction to it Like it was kind of like a joke like El Mayo, you know, and whatever he shrugs it off. So Later we're doing the naked wrestling And he says to me in a very serious tone looking me in the eyes Yeah, you want this pee pee? another clip of what did you think was normal in your past relationship until you got into something new so i actually found out that this wasn't normal just before we broke up because my best friend witnessed it and she was like that is not normal so we used to go on a food shop together we lived together so yeah we did a food shop together and we actually did have to go and do the food shop separately sometimes because we just couldn't get through the food shop without having like a full-blown argument. I used to get shouted at. I used to get really frustrated and probably, you know, give it back to him a little bit. And yeah, it just, it always ended in tears. Like we would be food shopping and he would say, you know, is there anything else that we need to get? And I'd be like, oh, I don't know. Like, I've got everything on the list, but I feel like there's something missing or I want some snacks or whatever. And he'd be like, well, you should, you should have thought that before. Like, why haven't you put it on the list? Like, oh my God, like what, why are we still stood here? Where are we going? Like, oh, why do we need that? Like, take that out. You never let me have this. Like, just ridiculous. Super petty, by the way. Super, super, super petty. Anyways, I know this sort of isn't the same, but it, it made me think and I feel like it is quite similar. So me and a guy that I'm currently seeing, we will literally just popped to the shop and got snacks um, for a drive that we were going on. And he was like, what do you want? And I was like, I don't know. Um, and, you know, trying to think quickly, like, oh, God, what do I need? Because I'm going to, fuck, he's going to get annoyed, whatever. He literally just stood there, like, and waited for me to make my mind up. And, you know, it didn't take long. <laughs> it was literally, like, 10, 30 seconds, maybe, just thinking and walking around, what do I actually fancy, all of that. Um, and I just thought, I didn't come out of the shop in tears. Just look at these people. Look at these underdeveloped Negroes. Because I'll be different with open arms.
an open legs and an open mouth. Fuck you and your badass attitude, all your negativity, and all that other shit. Keep that shit to your fucking self. And you know what I'm saying? Well, fucking positive. When you pull back from a girl and she comes back and reaches out to you, fellas, never say this shit. This the dumbest shit that you can say when she asks you why you pulled away. Oh, I just pulled back because I didn't think you liked me anymore, so I just pulled. What you basically just told her when you said that shit is that you're playing her game. She's in the lead. She's, she's the leader of the relationship or whatever y'all have going on and that she has the power to make you react or do whatever the fuck she wants. What you say instead is that, look, I've been busy, a lot of stuff been going on. I didn't forget about you. I was gonna reach out to you the other day, but something had happened. When a girl pulls away and comes back, you never make it about her. You never make it seem like she has any control over your emotions and how you react. She's not, she's not your world. If you don't want this type of shit to happen, then cut my most popular product, link in my bio. Yeah, you can take. Yeah, good girl. I say, shut the fuck up, also. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Don't say good girl to me. I, I gave you a fucking ten dollar. Yeah, but say thank you. Say thank you instead. What the fuck, man? You can't even light your cigarette, man. <laughs> shut the fuck up, bitch, man. After a guy nuts, his mood changes if they don't find you attractive anymore. Mm. Is this true or false? <laughs> and she said <laughs> mm. B F F R. What did that spell? B fucking for real. Why do guys get so bloody pressed about what their girl wears out in public? Like bro. If you can't fight, just say that. <laughs> Me personally, I love when my girl looks good. And you can look all you want, but if you touch her and catch these hands. And the weather's so breezy. Man, why can't life always be this easy?